everybody welcome back to my channel it's Sunday which means a new video and we have an orange wall because orange is very um, what's the word significant for today's video because it's guess the reference again you know it, it's the third installment now and if you haven't watched my episodes of guess the reference before I also have two others I've done one with Miles Dobson who plays Nick on the next step and one with Carter Musselman who plays Heathcliff on the next step go watch those videos I strongly recommend them um, but basically a little breakdown of it there are four rounds oh wait it's a quiz it's a quiz I have made fully by myself and no affiliation to any companies that are own the next step or anything so it's not to do with the next step not to do with cbc abc or cbc so there are 21 questions in my quiz and four rounds the first round is a get to know you round where the questions are all about my guests themselves and their career the second round is called guess the reference which is where the title of the quiz comes from and the, all the questions are in reference to scenes characters quotes episodes seasons that the actor's character has been in so that they should know the answers theoretically the third round is fan submitted questions the same um sy system the same style as guess the reference except i haven't written the questions the fans have and then the fourth round is just one singular question which is the obscure question um and that is just a a pretty random question that they might not get unless they were properly paying attention while they were filming. So our third guest to be on Guest the Reference joined the next step in season six. They've been on the show for two seasons now, six and seven. She acts, she dances, she sings, and she's just as bright and bubbly as her character on the next step. She was on a trip for a hot minute, no wait, a hot second, but it was very hot. It's Winnie, aka Maddie Langdon. Hello! I My brain's gotta wake up. When I work at this hour, I can't even speak English to customers, so we will see what's going on this morning. Okay, so first round and your first question of Get to Know You. If you're a legend, get your game face on. What quote is in your Instagram bio? Do all things with love. Yes. You didn't have to think about that too long. That is a good one. <laughs> I, had, I couldn't remember if it was my, because I had Walt, Walt Disney in there for a while about doing the impossible. Um, and I, I just remember seeing my friend having the Cinderella quote from like the live action Cinderella. I'm like, I want something like that. So I went yeah. like more Disney with that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Question two. What was your first Instagram live titled that is saved on your IGTV? I have an Instagram live saved on my IGTV. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, and my, uh, you titled them? Y yeah, you've titled it. Oh, you if know I what? Check on my phone. You know what? It's it's not it's not an Instagram live. I don't think. I think it's actually an IGTV like video that I made. Oh, it it's might like be. A three minute video. I'm pretty sure it's car jams. I'm in a red I won't, tube. I won't say whether you're really correct like... yet. Let me just check, and then I'll re say the question if it's. <laughs> Yeah, let me rephrase the question. <laughs> what is your first current saved IGTV called? <laughs> it should be Car Jams. Because I'm wearing a yes. red suit holding my ukulele. Yes, it's Car Jam. Okay, question three. On your IMDb, what is the earliest TV show and role that you are credited in? TV show? Yes. I know my first couple of ones not TV shows, like, I got Samantha Wallace on there. Oh, my first one should be Fear Thy Neighbor, role of Leah. Are you sure? <laughs> oh no, oh no, wait. <laughs> I... um, it's Doki Adventures, I don't know oh, how to pronounce Sailor. that. Sailor. That's the role you had. <laughs> That's so funny, you know what's funny about that? I've never been able to see that episode. Ever. Oh. It just did not come out in Canada or something where I could never find it online because I don't have cable So I never yeah. was told when it was airing. So I have somewhere out there. There's a car cartoon character of my 13 year old voice. Oh, I'm a walrus named sailor <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, question four How many credits as an actress do you have on IMDb? Whoa. So we're looking for whoa, a whoa, number whoa. Gotta do some math here now. I gotta see what I even got credit, like credit as in, not like each individual episode, right? So no, like not episodes. Each credit specifically, okay. 
I gotta do some math here. I need like that meme that flies around with that woman. Yeah, with I'll give you that. Her. She's calculating right now. Okay. This is gonna take me a bit because I got to picture this because I know I have. Oh, I have commercials too on there. <laughs> Nine. Do you remember Final in Miles' episode where he said nine and it was actually ten? <laughs> Is it's it? Ten. No way I was about to say ten. <laughs> no way I was about to say ten too. Why, why don't people just go for the round numbers? I don't know because tan, ten just sounded too nice. No, it, it, it was ten. too nice for my IMDb. So it's the last question of Get To Know You. In your music okay. video for the song Forever that you did with Matt Genesis, what colour slash pattern top are you wearing? And I know without you I'll feel emptiness and sorrow. Oh, I know it because I almost wore it today. It's my pink crop top that has pink and blue and a little bit of red, has some yes, white in it. Yes, you're stripy. Yes, that's fine. Well done. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Get your game face on. Uh, we'll move on to the next round. Uh, that is the reference round, okay? So all the questions okay. are in relation to episodes, scenes, quotes, characters that Winnie has interacted with in season six and season seven of The Next Step, okay? okay? Who does Winnie replace on A Troop in season six? What just happened? What about Piper? Well, now there's an open spot on B Troop for Piper. If she even comes back. Oh, Piper. Yes, correct. <laughs> I remember that felt so real being on set too, because this was like one of my first times meeting half the cast that I like. Yeah, and you just replaced them. And, like haven't really talked to, and I'm here full on replacing Alexander too. <laughs> and like I remember that was the episode that Miles Ehrlich was dance captain too, and everyone had to look at me like, "What is she doing here?" And I was there like, "This feels too real." Okay, question two: What song are the duet auditions to in season six, episode three? Okay, what did I audition was... Repeat the question, sorry. <laughs> Repeat the question. What Please? song are the duet auditions to oh, in season six, episode three? Oh, the duet auditions Yeah, it, it's that one. <laughs> I need the song in my head. I need the song in my head right now. What song was that? <laughs> oh, but I cannot. I'm gonna... It's on the tip of my tongue. I feel like I should get half a point. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you half a point because you do know what it is. And you remembered choreo, so. I remember full choreo. I remember that was the first I've, first time I've ever danced a duet with a guy. So first like, lift I've ever done and mm. coming into that rehearsal with Noah Zolfker, who I've known forever from dancing against him in competitions and being Kingston, I was like, oh my God, he's yeah. me over his neck. The song was called Ahead of Our Time. Ah. <sighs> But you get half a point, half a point. Yeah, half a point, got it, got it. Yeah. Question three, why does Winnie get jealous at the season six prom? I get super jealous seeing Ozzy and Rochelle dancing because I haven't had my chance to dance with Ozzy yet. But Rochelle can have this dance, I'm in it for the long game. Because uh, Ozzy is talking with Briar and dancing with, with Briar, with Rochelle. Ozzy yes. stand, like talking in dance because I remember standing in that doorway of like, <laughs> watching in the background of him talking to Briar. Like, <laughs> Question four. What is Winnie wearing in season seven, episode one? Well, there's been a little vandalism incident with my Mona Lisa, aka Rochelle's absolute dance poster, and I'm gonna fix it. Episode one is when I'm guarding the poster. Yes. I'm wearing a burgundy top with a like white cream jacket and yes. ripped jeans. Yes, and correct. I didn't know if you get that one. Because Winnie's only like Woo! wore that outfit like once. So I didn't know if you'd get it. That's yeah, I that was my only street outfit because they always plan to have two street outfits, two dance outfits. Yes. And they I always just ended up partially in the same dance outfit until I had to be stuck in the black yeah. for the rest of the season. Okay, question five. In season seven, episode three, who has no idea who Winnie is, even though she knows them? Izzy, it's 
so great to see you here. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> you're funny. You're just like your brother. Oh, why did I almost say Ozzy? It's Izzy. <laughs> yes, it's Izzy. Okay, question six. <laughs> how does Winnie get injured in season seven, episode 19? Or how does she say she got injured? I tripped on a garden gnome and my foot is too swollen to fit in my tap shoe. It's not serious, I just can't dance for a few days. Yeah, <laughs> how does Maddie get injured? Or how does <laughs> get injured? Winnie, like, stepped or tripped over a garden gnome. Yes, she did. her foot is too inflamed to fit in her tap shoe, so she has to wear her bunny slipper. Yes, we have a detailed response there, I love it. <laughs> in season yeah. seven, episode 12, as well as Winnie, who are the other two B troopers in rehearsal when Cleo says, awesome rehearsal guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome rehearsal guys. <laughs> Let me see. When is Cleo positive about rehearsal? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what, cause I, I was in rehearsal, if there was only like two other beat troopers, it was always kind of the same people that I was with. Mm. Cause I, I'm thinking, not Presley, cause that was sour Cleo. And there's how many other beat troopers? Two. <laughs> two. Is it Jude and Ethan? Yes. I'm well always done. the same ones cause it's them two with, with Presley's audition video too. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You're like a little clique. Yeah, we are a little, we're a little clique there. It's so funny. And especially when, um, I think that's also the part where her and like Jude have a little, like they butt heads a little bit. And me and Ethan are in yeah. the background like, ooh, we literally have to be like, <laughs> this is like. Question eight. In the deleted scene where Winnie gets chosen as dance captain and she walks around for Kane and everything. <laughs> Who is the final person that Winnie orders to go on the back row? Miss Dance Captain. Don't you think it's weird that I, I hear that this is going to be a question? And I can most definitely tell you that the answer is back row. Oh. It's not Jude because she was already in the back row. I think you made Jude an alternate, actually. <laughs> I did make her an alternate. It was Cleo. Yes, it was. That was a tough one. Question nine. What does Maya tell Winnie she should watch after Winnie corrects her in season seven, episode 14? Um, just make sure you watch your extension. Mm -hmm, just make sure you watch your sickled feet. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the correction. My sickled feet. <laughs> yes, correct. What is Winnie's final line of season seven? This is the best beach trip has ever been. I don't think we've ever had a stronger team. No. It's... Oh, no. I feel like the line is something like, this is the strongest B Troop has ever been. It's very close. I think I'm going to give you half a point for it. I don't think you get it at all. It's, this is the best B Troop has ever been. I don't think we've ever had a stronger team. <laughs> that, that's nearly yes. perfect. If you're a legend, get your game face on. So the first one is from Imogen on YouTube and she says, in season six, episode 21, what level of Legions of Lasers does Winnie say that she's beaten? Hey Ozzy, just so you know, I've reached master level status in Legions of Lasers. You've beat level 100? 101. Let me know if you ever want to be my player too. Level 101. Yes. <laughs> You're really good at this. Question two. This is from Mira on YouTube. What did Winnie say after Ozzy said, great job, dude, when Heath and Winnie finished their duet? Great job, dude. I'm pretty sure his mouth said dude, but his eyes said hashtag Winzy. Great job, dude. That's when it cuts to a talking head, I'm almost certain, and goes, his eyes said dude, but his mouth, no, his mouth said dude, but his eyes said hashtag Winzy. Yes! This is amazing. I don't know how you've remembered all of this. I don't know why my brain clicks stuff. It's like me with song lyrics. I, when I was ever driving in a car with any of my friends, I would just be singing whatever songs in the car always. They're like, yeah, Maddie knows every single song. <laughs> like, my brain just, 
my brain eats information I shouldn't have to remember. <laughs> well, it's paying off now. <laughs> I can remember what I ate two weeks ago at 5.02 p.m., but I can't remember what I read yesterday for the math quiz. Okay, question three. Who was Winnie paired with for the A-troop, du- A-troop duets in season six? You already answered this one. <laughs> Kingston! So yes, I it was because I remember how intimidated I was when we went into that rehearsal. Question four is from Samia. Which foot did Winnie wear her bunny slipper on? And the moves are pretty good, but this dance needs to be perfect. Oh, it would have been my actual injured leg, right? Right? So my right one. <laughs> Yes, the right. Okay, here I am looking at my knees below the table that I'm sitting at. Like, which one is my injured knee? Uh, and the final question from this round is from Carly. What number was Winnie at the alternate auditions in season seven, episode three? Two, seven, eight, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Six? No. <laughs> Three. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was five. Five. So <laughs> close. But you still have one Dang. more question. So. Oh no, and it's like the crazy question. Right? <laughs> yeah, this is your obscure oh, no. question. If you're a legend, get your game face on. Which wrist does Winnie wear her hair scrunchie on in season seven, episode three? That was a deleted scene. Actually, I don't think anyone knows about this deleted scene. First, I'll give you a fun little tidbit while like my mind thinks about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I have to remember what, what take they took it because I switched it. So I remember, so it was, what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to be wearing my scrunchie and I dropped it. And Colton, Marcus, was supposed to come and pick it up and hand it to me because he was on the floor so he'd be on his knees. Yeah. And I was, I was like, I took a second, I was staring at him and I go, I do. I mean, thank you. <laughs> And then we had another scene where he came over and was sitting with me and drinking water bottles and we were just silent and we giggled at one thing and then in my talking head was, oh my gosh, we're soulmates. And that, it wasn't supposed to be that, but it just never got in. So that's so funny. And I'm pretty sure the scrunchie was on my left. Yes, it was. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Right, let me calculate your score. So you have a final score of 17. So you're literally just... 0.5 behind Miles and then Carter is in third place. I was so good with Winnie. <laughs> and then just myself in general, I'm like, what 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 have I what have I done? Who would you like to try and do the quiz next to beat you and beat Miles Ooh. now? I want I, the lovely power couple of Clued. I want That's Molly who and... Carter asked for as well. <laughs> well, should I nominate someone else then? Um yeah. I want to see Shelby Bane and Renee. I would like to see Amy and Izzy kill this quiz. Good choice. (laughs) Good choice. Okay. Shelby has so many things (laughs) to do. So you just don't want someone to beat you, basically. Well, poor Miles got his pizza box questions. He's doing the calculations of width width times height here. I'm like, I don't think I even know how many was in that episode. But yeah, I want to see them do that. Um, do you want to plug your socials? Just like where people can find you and everything. Yeah, literally just my Instagram, just me, Maddie Langdon, and I guess kind of all I have. Um, that's all. Thank you very much, Maddie, for Ooh, taking part. That was it was fun. so funny. That was like a I've enjoyed deep it. dive into the last two years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you've proved that your memory is great as well. So. <laughs> Other than uh, my, about myself. Yeah, you don't know <laughs> yourself very well, but you do know winning. Thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it um my stomach kind of hurts from laughing now and i'm still really sweaty from nerves but i really enjoyed myself so thank you maddie for coming on um shelby bain and renee hit me up if you want to take the quiz if you don't it's perfectly fine like no pressure um but yeah hopefully we'll have a new episode of guess the reference next week as well so make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on like the video if you enjoyed it comment down below um anything you like and i'll see you soon for a new video guys Bye.